When I first installed the ASI Back 800, it was a quick job. However, it was uh, vulnerable to water damage. The ASI itself is IP67 rated, I think, but the wiring looms need extra protection. This is what I chose to do with the install. Um, there are other ways to do it, including just using loads of silicone sealant all over the joins. But I hate having to unstick that, so I went for methods that allowed for easy removal for service if needed. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're reinstalling the ASI Back 800. And currently, we're trying to waterproof it. So we're using this cool stuff called dielectric grease, which my father-in-law uses on his motorcycle. So we're coating all the ends here in this dielectric grease, and that's going to help seal them up. And then we're going to wrap them in. What are we wrapping them in? Silicone tape. Silicone tape. So we have the phase wire plugged back in and then we're going to slide over this heat shrink over the top and then use the heat gun to form it in place and that will then seal this against any potential water ingress. So the ASI kit is just the three motor phase wires and they all just color match so it's uh, dead easy to plug in and then we're just going to use the heat gun and get these all to shrink around and keep the water out. So after using the heat gun, this is the result. So I don't think we can get any uh, any water into those joints. Electrical tape around the uh, the hall sensor plug, rather than uh, the usual uh, what would you call it? Electrical Red. tape. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. that, that's going on there, and that's making a nice seal there Here's to the... stop any uh, water ingress. And this stuff is called, yeah, brush-on electrical tape. Who knew? So this part here, we're using a professional grade silicone product. Yeah. This stuff here, splicing tape, and that's going to keep this joint here watertight. So everything here with the motor is now sealed up, dry, and I think watertight. So we're going to put the cover back on, which I have uh, here. And then we're probably just going to use a bit of silicone just around this part to seal up the back. Cover is now back on, and all that's left to do is to get this all mounted and squared away and sealed up in a better way than it was before. So this is the finished reinstall. We've got some padding here around the ASI controller. All of the wires where necessary have been waterproofed. Everything's been tidied away around the back, at least for now. I'll probably do it again in the future and get a different job, get it more, uh, more tidied away, but it, it's good for now. Everything back in place. Everything cleaned up. I'd like to do a better job on uh, cleaning up the uh, the power wires, but uh, it'll certainly do for now. And hopefully that gives everybody an idea of the uh, of the different install parts here. This is by no means a complete install video. There are a few other resources which, if you see the description below, I'll link to them. If there are any questions regarding what I did, post a comment, and I'll do my best to help. Cheers.